All right, welcome back to the channel. So Tiafimo Lopez might have negotiated himself into some problems with Bob Arum uh, because Bob Arum has agreed that Tiafimo Lopez's next fight on ESPN will be pay-per-view. Be very careful what you ask for and who you ask for it from. <laughs> Let's talk about this, that subject in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. First things first, uh, please, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Also, take a second after this video to follow me over there on Instagram. We have a lot of promotional uh, videos that we do over there for current fighters, uh, amateur fighters, for, um, legendary fighters, and I really think that you'll like it a lot. Also, make sure you come by the live streams er that we do every, mon every Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. and Friday at 8.30 a.m., uh, and the proceeds of those live streams are used to promote, uh, to pay for the promotion of young amateur fighters and the other fighters that we described over there on the Instagram page. So please follow me over there. Now, the subject matter of this video is Tiafimo Lopez and Devin Haney and Bob Aram. Now, Bob, uh, maybe a maybe three, four days ago, Tiafimo Lopez Sr. gave an interview in which he said that Bob Aram and Top Rank were not living up to certain commitments that they were making under their contracts, under their contracts, specifically uh, that they were not giving Tiafimo Lopez the three fights a year that he was guaranteed on his, in his agreement. And as a result, they were free to go uh, to get out of that contract and go sign with somebody else that they believed would live up to their promises. That is the statement by Tiafimo Lopez Sr., and one that I agreed with 100%, or I could see his logic in 100%. And I thought, man, this guy is really, really on top of it. He clearly has a good team around him that's advising him, and he's paying attention to what's going on. And he wants the uh, he wants the top dollar amount that he can make uh, out of that contract. And to date, he's not doing that because last year, when he was supposed to fight three times, he only fought once. And where he was supposed to fight three times with a minimum, my understanding is, of $1.5 million, that means that top rank is on the hook for $4.5 million in, uh, in purses to Tiafimo Lopez every year. Seeing as he only earned $2.5 in one fight last year, they were short $2 million. So in order for them to fight with top rank again, to assure that they're going to get this money, they want to be on pay-per-view. Why pay-per-view? Because pay-per-view allows for the fighter to generate revenue outside of the guarantee or the money that is oh, the guaranteed money that is ultimately provided to them by the network through their promoter. That was the stance of Tiafimo Lopez Sr. And I, to this moment, agree with them and think, wow, that's a great observation. If you're really trying to go for your money, there, that is how you go about doing it. However, <laughs> understand though that with every move that you make, there is a risk that, that is associated with it, right? Because if he says, if Team Lopez says to Bob Aram, we want pay-per-view, pay, Bob Aram may look at that like, oh, thank you for asking for that one because that is going to make it, that gives him an angle to again look out for the best interest of top rank and i'm telling you there's a rule i don't really there's a book called robert green's 48 rules of power not one that i recommend to people to use for them to actually use themselves because a lot of it is just flat out manipulation and dishonesty that i believe will turn around on you and cause you problems in the end however there are certain observations that are made there that are key one observation is that they say never outshine your master the idea is that when you through your success start shining so brightly that you become a challenge to a person that that whose responsibilities or authority is over yours or someone that has significant ability to affect your um your mobility your social or financial mobility 
you have to be very careful in the way that you deal with that person because they are human. And one human e emotion is or or tendency is towards vengefulness. And they will also try to set you up and make an example of you to prevent other people from trying to do the same thing, which is to challenge their authority. So apply that rule to Tiafimo Lopez, Bob Aram, as they go forward into a negotiated pay-per-view scenario, right? That is ripe with potential for Tiafimo Lopez, but it is also ripe for potential for Bob Aram. And the potential for Bob Aram is to teach Tiafimo Lopez and anybody else that may try to bully top rank a lesson. And what would that lesson be in the form of a failed pay-per-view? This same scenario has been, we've seen before. Terrence Crawford demanded of Bob Aram a pay-per-view to be on pay-per-view, and he got it. But, uh, Terrence Crawford demanded a second time to be on pay-per-view, and he got it. What did he get for these demands? He got, he received underperforming pay-per-views that ultimately hurt his value and made him more of uh, more um how can i say under the wing of bob aram than he was before he had the pay-per-views because once you fail on a pay-per-view then the, then the the um justification is look dude you're not you're just not that big a star we need to go back to the arrangement we had before i told you that arrangement was the best arrangement right fight for the network deals because really there's not that much money out there in boxing and you're not ready for it, right? So fight the guys that I say fight, do the things that I say do, right? Could very well come from a bad pay-per-view, an underperforming pay-per-view. So what I would say is in scenarios like this, not that Tiafimo Lopez is wrong in doing what he's doing. I think that that is, especially if that's the risk that he's willing to take and he understands that dynamic, right? absolutely no problem with them doing it however i do think that they need to be at the very least um they need to give themselves some protections to assure that that top rank that that pay-per-view does not get tanked and what are those in my opinion from what i can see they should might want to seek budget guarantees from budget guarantees for promotions right and, and timing and the amount of promotion that is going to be given for the fight. So to say on one hand that the fight will be on pay-per-view may not necessarily address the issue of how much money and how much interest will top rank and ESPN put in ensuring that that fight is big. If you look at the pay-per-views that took place on, on Fox, you'll see that they were accompanied, while they were successful, they were also accompanied by massive promotion by Fox through their relationship with the NFL. I'm not sure what relationship or what means ESPN has at its disposable, that is disposal, excuse me, to match that. So, but at the very least, right? Because, and I say that because ESPN does not have a track record of successful pay-per-views. They don't, they're not in that business. So they don't, they may not have the desire to invest uh, uh, resources in the promotion of the fight, or they may not have the know-how of how to do it. Either way can result in, in um, numbers that are less than optimal for Tiafimo Lopez's uh, team, and hence not necessarily constructive for the future development of his career as a quote-unquote star. However, that's not me saying that Tiafimo Lopez shouldn't do, or and Tiafimo Lopez Sr. shouldn't do what they're saying, it's just that they should continue to take the cautious and um, observant <laughs> observant um, methods that they have used to date to get themselves in this position. So anyway, that's my take on the matter. You let me know. Oh, last thing that I wanted to say. And clearly, the media, <laughs> the media is not going to be behind Tiafimo Lopez in, in his separation from top rank unless they know he's going somewhere where they also will get equal access to fighters and will not believe that somehow their access to top rank fighters will decrease. But again, that's my thought. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.